Hi, I'm Mark from Platinum LED Grow Lights, and today we're gonna have some fun. We're doing a five-way comparison test between five different LED grow lights, all consuming roughly about the same amount of power, all using roughly about the same amount of diodes, albeit some with a higher wattage rating than others. What we're gonna show you is that primarily wattage draw does not dictate the actual growing power of an LED grow light. There's only two factors that dictate the actual growing power. Number one, how bright it actually is, regardless of how many watts it's consuming. And number two, what the actual spectrum output is of the actual light. This is important because we know what green chlorophyll physically absorbs. So the entire strength of LED grow lights is to put out a spectral output that matches that as close as possible. It's efficiency, a bright light that puts out an efficient light. That's an LED grow light. To gather this data, we're going to be using three different pieces of equipment. Number one, primarily, a PAR meter, the Apogee MQ200, which is an industry standard. We're going to use the same meter for all different lights. Regardless of the manufacturer of the PAR meter, it gives us a benchmark by which we can compare all lights equally. For the spectrum analysis, we're going to be using a UPR Tech spectrometer. Again, a very complete spectrometer. Number three, we'll be using a simple kilowatt meter so we can verify the actual wattage draw of each different light, regardless of the actual wattage rating of the diode that they're using. All right, now let's go to the contenders. First up, on the left, we have the Mars Hydro 300 watt light using 65 watt diodes. Now, before we begin with any of them again, we're gonna verify that the hangout here is, in fact, 18 inches across the board. All lights, even. All right. Now, the wattage draw of the Mars is coming in, even for a 300 watt light, around 128 actual watts. As far as the PAR output, we'll turn on our PAR meter here. In the center point, it's reading right around 345 micromoles. Now that's the intensity level. Let's see the actual spectral output. We'll get a fresh hit here from our spectrometer. You'll see that we have a toothpick in the blue and red. Not much happening else elsewhere. All right, on to the next one. Next up, second from the left, we have our Galaxy Hydro 300 watt light, this time using 103 watt diodes. First of all, we're gonna verify the wattage draw. You'll see it's pulling right around 139, 140 watts. Second, we're gonna par test it. What's the actual light intensity of it? We'll see that it's pulling right around 234, 235 micromoles. Last but not least, we're gonna give an actual spectral analysis. You'll see that this light is extremely red heavy with barely anything else happening down low. All right, now onto the Kind L300. This light uses 93 watt diodes. Very first thing we're gonna do again is verify the wattage draw. This one comes in at 178 watts. This is possibly due to Kind's advertising that they overdrive their LEDs to draw more power. What's the actual PAR output? Well, the center point reads 714, 715 micromoles. What's the actual spectral output? Let's give it a spectrometer test. You'll see we do have a little more complete spectrum. We're hitting reds and blues. All right, on to the next. Fourth on the list is our Solar Spec by Mari 150. This light actually uses 66 watt diodes. Let's see how it measures out. First of all, the wattage draw, we'll see it comes in at around 157 watts. Second, the PAR test. Center point PAR, you're gonna write about 723 micromoles. Last, but definitely not least, we'll do an actual spectrum analysis. Here we go. The interesting thing about this light and why we decided to include it is this is a white-based light. As we know, the entire efficiency about LED grill lights revolves around the light that you're putting out actually being absorbed by green chlorophyll. We know what that curve is. We know one color they don't absorb much of is green. So again, remember that not only is the intensity level important, but the actual spectral analysis and how this relates to the efficiency with what the plants are physically absorbing. This is why white LEDs by nature are inefficient. 
All right. Last but definitely not least, we have the Platinum LED P300 using 103 watt diodes. First, of course, we're gonna verify the wattage draw. We'll see the actual wattage draw is somewhere right around 180, 182 watts. Second, we're gonna verify the center point par like all the other lights. We'll see we're hitting right around 1180 micromoles, 1177, 1180. Last, we're gonna give an actual spectral readout. We'll do a fresh hit right off the UPR tech. And we'll see that we're pulling all the way across the complete range from UV to infrared, exactly matching as close as possible what green chlorophyll is physically absorbing. This gives us our spectral efficiency. So here you have it, five somewhat similar lights, all drawing roughly about the same amount of power, all using roughly about the same kind of diodes, but with completely different outputs. Remember, the two most important things when evaluating the strength of any type of horticultural light is how bright it is and what the actual spectral output is. What we submit to you is that in any price range, our LED grill lights are the most powerful LED grill lights on the market today, thanks to the highest par per watt with the most complex perfected spectrum. What we also submit to you is there's absolutely no value in a cheaper LED grill light. You're wasting time, money, and yield. And any money that you think you saved on the initial purchase price, you're now costing many times over in your lowered yields, lowered output, and your time wasted and spent. For a more expensive LED grill light, we can see that price does not dictate the actual quality or the actual output. You're simply putting the money in the pockets of others, in the hydro stores and the manufacturers. These types of tests are a great indicator of the components contained within a manufacturer's grow light. We know that, for example, in ours, we use the same exact diodes, the same exact drivers throughout our entire product line. This assures consistent quality and consistently the highest par per watt of any other LED grow light, along with the most perfected, efficient 12 band spectral output. Thanks so much for watching today. To see more of these types of videos, FAQs, comparisons, feel free to come to our website at PlatinumGrowLights.com.